Hey, um, how's the bullpen looking to you right now? And how much better do you think this unit can be? I think it could be very good. I think we're looking, I think we're looking really good. Uh, yesterday was a, a nice example of, of relievers. Givens, I thought, looked really good. Um, Armstrong looked really good. Uh, and then like Cody Carroll, you know, guys like that, that, that weren't, weren't really around last year um, that I feel like can make an impact in this, in the bullpen uh, in a positive way. Um, you know, we saw, we saw flashes from everyone that was on the team last year and what they're capable of doing and why they're in the big leagues. And I think I'm, I'm hoping guys take that step forward in a, in a turning those flashes into consistency, including myself. Uh, and, and I think we'll have, we'll go back to, you know, being a strong bullpen unit like Baltimore is known for. Dan Conley, you're up next. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, Richard. Hey, Dan. I'm going to ask you to put your analysis cap on here. Oh, okay. Just, instead of a 162 game season, you're going to have a 60 game season. How does, do you think that affects the Baltimore Orioles? How do you see maybe it being different through 60 games for you guys versus 162? I think it's going to make it a lot more interesting. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be, you just never know what can happen. You know, we play really good baseball. You see that. I mean, a great, obviously the great example of that everybody using is the nationals and the other, in the other way where they got off to such a poor start and ended up winning the world series. So, you know, if we get off to a good start, it's, it's like, you know, Hyde saying it's a sprint. It's not, it's not a marathon. So they're really, the chances of us being competitive are, I feel like are better with a 60 game season than 162 game season. Um, not saying we can't be competitive over a, over a full regular season, but a shortened season definitely, um, I think, bodes in our favor. Joe Trezza, you're up next. Go ahead, Joe. Joe T. Hey, Richard. What's up, man? How, uh, how challenging has it been to basically social distance when you are probably one of the most social men in baseball? <laughs> it's, um, it's been a challenge for me. I, yeah. <laughs> You know, but we're still around each other and and outside, not not near each other, but you know, we could still there's we still have a good time um, responsibly. Uh, it but it has been an adjustment for myself and and my personality. Yeah, but I think probably people are enjoying it uh, to a point. There's some positives, but uh, no, it's it's definitely it's de it's you know it's different and it's just something we all have to get used to and and make the best of the situation and and get, it, get the job done. Rich Dubroff, you're up next. Go ahead, Rich. Hello, Richard. Uh, uh, last night you were, I think you were sitting in the, uh, the extended, extended dugout there. Yeah. Um, how, did you, um, how, how did you sort of uh, enjoy the view and what about having the, uh, the noise uh, pumped in, the, uh, you know, the crowd, the crowd noise, right. having walk-up songs, having the PA announcer. Did that help? Um, I think, yeah, some... definitely. Yeah, I think that the crowd noise is a nice touch um, and the cheers and, and all that and the announcer and the, the music. And I think it's going to be, all that stuff is going to be beneficial for players to, to be able to treat it like, you know, just be – as into the game as possible as a regular major league major league season game you know with fans and stuff like that I, I, I like the noise it was a good it was it's a nice thing that MLB is doing um, as far as the the seating under the tent uh, yeah great seats honestly uh, it was a, it was nice to watch a game there from it's a dif different perspective for me I haven't watched a game in the stands and you know since my minor league days of charting behind home plate but but never from the first base side or the third base side um, it was, yeah. You see, you see different things over there. Uh, definitely, it was fun. John Mueller, you're up next. Go ahead, John. Hello, Richard. Um, there are a lot of individuals on this team who this is going to be a big season for. Whether it's you know contract type stuff or just establishing themselves in the big leagues. How do you feel like you'll be able to put your best foot forward in, in a short season and put something representative together for, for the off season and beyond? I mean, I just think preparation, you know, we knew that it was going to be a short season because we were missing time. So, um, you know, but we also knew we also had to keep in mind that we were going to play at some point. So, yeah, I mean, I've been throwing the hitters for two months probably or a month and a half or whatever, you know, a while. 
um, and it just worked out that I had a great situation close to home. But I, you know, I just feel like I've tried to stay as ready as possible, knowing that there's, yeah, it's going to be a short season, and I'm not going to have this tremendous workload of innings, and and every inning is really going to count, and um, I have to take advantage of every outing I get. Dan Conley, you're up again. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, Richard, you talked with Rock about the bullpen, but from your spot and watching, what do you make of this rotation? Obviously, there's some new guys in it. Um, you know, Cobb hopefully is healthy. What do you think of this rotation, and how will that, do you think, affect you guys as a bullpen unit? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> obviously, if, um, you know, if the shorters are, or if the starters are not going deep into the games, that you see how that affects the bullpen. Um, but I think that they're all, like, everybody is pitching pretty well. You know, John uh, John's ready to take the next step forward and follow up his all-star year. Cobb's healthy. Uh, Will Jahowski is going to get a full year. And then, you know, wait with Wade and Tommy. Uh, those guys are veterans. They know they know how to get the job done. I, it, you know, I just feel like it could be, it, yeah, we could definitely have a useful unit there. And then if they can get to the ball, and we have, we have like, a crazy amount of weapons in the bullpen, it seems, when everybody's pitching as well as they can, where Castro, myself, Givens, Fry, Armstrong. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so, you you know, who, and not whoever else makes it, like, it, it, it's just, it could be impressive to see us, you know, throw roll out quality pitching. Joe Trezzi, you're up next. Go ahead, Joe. Richard, did, did you have any reservations about playing? Um, I, I, I know you're from Florida and, and, and things are you know pretty bad there right now with the virus. I'm just wondering where your head was at um, in terms of playing or having any reservations. I mean, if I did, once I saw the safety protocols that MLB put in place, I didn't anymore. I mean, it is um, above and beyond. They're, go they're, they're definitely looking out for the safety of the players here. It's It's been extremely impressive, especially what the Orioles are doing here. We everything is very strict. And I, you know, the second I am done eating, if I don't put my mask back on, I feel like I'm getting, you know, chased down the halls or whatever. So it's, uh, it's, we're running a tight ship and rightfully so. And I think that um, it, it, it could work out, you know, because of, because of the strict protocols put in place. 